Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire 5 laptop. This one is an Acer Aspire 5 model A515-51-52BQ. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can speed up the laptop dramatically and how you can have two way of having extra storage in here. These laptops do come with one terabyte mechanical hard drive and they do have iCore 5 se uh, 7th gen and you might have a different CPU, doesn't matter. But at the end of the day, you still have a mechanical hard drive in here. And the bottleneck in the system is because of the mechanical hard drive. For example, you have a really fast CPU, but the hard drive has a limit of sp speed on it. So it will slow down the whole CPU, the whole process because it cannot read and write fast enough. So in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can install a solid state drive and remove the mechanical drive, or you can keep the mechanical drive and in install another type of SSD drive, which is an M.2 drive in an in PCI Express one, which is an NVMe format, and put your Windows on the other one and keep the one terabyte as a secondary storage. So that's the best configuration. Or you can simply just remove the mechanical hard drive and put the solid state drive without doing anything on the M.2 drive. All right, with all those set, first thing first, you wanna power off the laptop, flip it upside down, and on the bottom cover here, you're gonna see two covers, two service covers. One is for the RAM and one is for the hard drive. To remove this cover, you need a screwdriver. I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set. And from here, we're gonna grab the Phillips number one. That's the only one that you're gonna be needing. You will need an opening tool. For the opening tool, you can get the pro version. I'll leave the link in my video description. Or you can simply grab a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening electronics, covers, and everything like that. I'll try to find the links and I'll leave them in my video description. You will need a, a, a bigger capacity hard drive, mechanical one. If you want to go from one terabyte to two terabyte, go ahead, find yourself a 2.5 inch mechanical hard drive, a low profile, or grab any SSD drives that you like. Any brand, I will recommend you that you get the Samsung or Crucial brand. Do not go with an Adata or Adata or Kingston or anything like this. These are not durable, but Samsung brands are really durable. In this case, a client brought this one in here and he wants me to install a 240 gig Adata in here. All right, first thing first, to remove the hard drive, to upgrade the mechanical hard drive to a solid state drive, all you need to do is remove this cover. You don't need to remove anything else. So remove one single screw, lift up this cover with putting your finger here and just pull it up really hard and the cover should come out pretty easy. Then you're gonna see the hard drive in here. Hard drive is being held down by a caddy. The caddy is a metal covered bracket that holds the hard drive in place. So one, two, three, four screws. Go ahead and remove these four screws. Also, if you like my videos, I'm helping you guys out and you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It will be a tremendous help and support. All right, once you remove the four screws, you want to grab the hard drive, the aluminum cover here, pull it up really hard. Even if you rip this one up, don't worry about it. Sometimes they get really tough. You have to pull it up. You can grab from both sides and pull it up like this. But don't pull. I don't like pulling up from here because there's a Raven flex cable here. You can just X pull it extra and you can rip the flex cable. So don't pull on here, put it on here so you can bring it up even higher, Doesn't, nothing's gonna happen. But if you I pull hard in here, I can damage that flex cable. So pull it up from the backside up, bring it up it's gently on site, you grab your finger here and pull up this connector, separate the connector from the hard drive. So there's your mechanical one, Toshiba one terabyte. We need uh, to put the SSD in there. We have to make sure you have the orientation of the SATA connector and the power connector in the same direction. So put them side to side. We need to remove the metal uh, caddy to put it on this one. There's one, two, two screws on one side and two screws on the other side. Remove these four screws. So once you remove the screws, simply in the same position, grab it. 
put the hard drive to one side, put it on the SSD drive, and put the, the screw back on. Now, remember that you will not have any operating system on this uh, hard drive. If you power on, it will tell you there's no operating system. I will not recommend you to clone the hard drive to a SSD drive or mechanical to SSD. The architecture of the uh, writing is a little bit different. You might get blue screen of that and a few stuff, errors. So I will recommend you guys to install it, uh, fresh install of Windows of the USB stick. I made a specific video how to create Windows 10 USB boot drive. You can check that link in my video description. It's free. Just create your Windows 10 USB boot drive, download it directly. And all you need to do is plug in the USB drive in your computer, power it on, and it will take you to a installation process. It takes about 10 minutes, even top 10 minutes before you have your Windows installed. I made another video on the how to install the Windows the proper way. Just follow the steps of the installation, doesn't matter the laptop brand. And so you don't have all those bloatwares, Candy Crush, and McAfee antivirus installed on your Windows. Those links are in my video description. All right, once you have the hard drive placed in here, all you need to do is to put the four screws for the caddy and put the cover back on and you're set to go. That's as far as you need to go for changing the mechanical hard drive to solid state drive. Now, if you want to install the M.2 NVMe hard drive and you want to keep your mechanical drive in here as a second storage, you need to remove the bottom cover. I'm going to cover that too. So you want to remove your hard drive from here, mechanical, or you can even have solid state in here and another solid state in there to have better depending on your budget. So you can put a one terabyte, two terabyte solid state drive in here and another solid state drive and NVMe in here to, for a better performance on the window. Anyway, you want to start removing all the screws, even the screw on the cover in here. So you start from one corner and remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Just remove them and put them in one pile. Alright, once you remove all the screws, make sure to double check you didn't miss any screws. You want to open up the laptop a little bit, just about one or a little bit, not much. You want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. And you just want to twist it, just it's like you're peeling it off. And do all the front side, go to the sides, all the way to the back corner, like that, and do the other side too. All right. And then you want to do the back side too by the hinges. Just separate all those covers. Close the screen, put it down. Remove the from the hard drive side upward and bring it, push it toward the other contact here so you can release all this. So that's the bottom chassis. Yeah. And down here you can see the RAM and the, C, the hard drive space right in here. And there's your NVMe space right over here. This is where I recommend you guys to grab a Samsung brand or Crucial brand NVMe. I'll leave the link in my video description, at least 500 gig. Place it in here. I actually, I don't have my NVMe with me. There's one right over here. This is a different brand. This is a Western Digital. All you need to do is to, you don't need to disconnect the battery at all. You want to bring it in 45 degree or 10 degrees towards the jack and you want to push it towards the jack until it goes all the pin inward. You want to bring it down, make sure the screw hole matches, and you want to put that simple screw in there. The screws are not included. I'll leave the link. They're really cheap. You can buy these tiny screws to screw it down right on top. Once you screw it down on top, and that's it. Uh, this is for demonstration. I'm not actually going to install anything. So that's how you install M.2 here, and you can put a mechanical or SSD drive in here for second storage. Simply as that. So we're going to grab the cover on the bottom cover. We're going to bring it over, put the side down and push it down really hard. Make sure you hit those clicks on the back side. Go all around. Make sure you hit those clicks. 
once you got it all the way down simply go ahead and slap on all the screws at the bottom cover I'm just gonna fast forward this part it's really simple you guys don't want to watch me putting the screws all right now that we put all the screws and the last thing would be to grab the solid or mechanical drive that you have in here and just place it on top put the caddy in place and put the four screws for the caddy again if you put the, another hard drive in there make sure you install the windows on the nvme drive it's not hard it's People like, oh, I don't know how to do it. It's really simple. I made videos for those. Check them out. Uh, this way, your performance will be dramatically increased, uh, even the loading times. And that should be all. I hope this video helped you guys out and you learned something new and you could upgrade your laptop hard drive space. If you like this video, click that like button. Think about subscribing to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. As always, try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.